Okay. All right, everybody is settling down. I think that like uh, we can start soon. And before that, let me just give a uh, uh, let me just do a brief introduction about uh, our speaker here. So this session is uh, going to be introduced by Takanori Suzuki, and the title is "Automate the Boring Stuff with Slack Bot." So uh, Takanori is a wise, pers wise person, wise chairperson of Python Japan. He is also a director of B Proud Inc. and this title is Python Climber. Takanori san held Python Japan in 2014 and 2016 as the chairperson. And currently he is also teaches uh, Python to the beginners at the lectures at Python for a uh, boot camp all over Japan. In addition, he published also several Python books and he plays also trumpet, he climbs borders, he loves Lego, ferrets, and also beer. <laughs> okay, uh, for those who just came in, please try to fill up the chairs like in front of the computer. I, I do have no standard, so in front of the computer. So uh, the Python here doesn't bite, so yeah, just come closer. Even though if you bite, it's okay. Just come closer. <laughs> yep, come closer, come closer. Yeah, here. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I won't bite from today for now, at least. I promise. Okay, about this topic, uh, we do a lot of tasks and repeat repeating tasks in the company and the community and then we use chat a lot for example by like Slack in our daily communication. So um, Sakanori Sound created a chatbot uh, in order to automate various boring tasks that related to holding uh, Python in Japan, uh, in Japan. So in this talk, he will first explain about how to create a chatbot using Slackbot. Then uh, he's gonna show how to register bot and integration and uh, integrate it on Slack and how to create simple bot in Python that respond to specific keywords. And as a specific case, he will explain how to make a bot command to perform the following uh, operation and optimal problem. For example, emoji reaction, calculator, karma, search issues and display issues details. Create multiple issues from a template, search files and, uh, from Google Drive, account management of G Suite, and etc. Of course, uh, I think that is time spending, but we're going to take up some questions as well. And uh, without further ado, and again, no people from the back, please move out, friends. And now I pass the control to Takanori. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, Nice to meet you. I'm Takanori Suzuki. Uh, thank you for coming to my talk. Uh, I'm very happy to able be able to talk in this event, Python Malaysia. Uh, oh? Oh, sorry. Hmm? 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 Okay. Uh, 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 today I will talk about uh, the back the, about the Slack bot, the man of the background and the motivation for the Slack, and uh, how to create simple bot and interactive bot, and how to extend it using uh, libraries and APIs. At first, uh, take posts and tweets welcome. I'm a free, I'm free. <laughs> and I, I, but I will share this slide so you don't have to take notes. You can check after the slides. Okay? Uh, before the main topic, I will introduce myself, but the seed talk, uh, my inter introduction. I'm Takanori. Hey, okay. Uh, I'm a vice chairperson of Python JP, and, uh, oh, what? Well, sorry. Uh, Okay. Uh, uh, PyCon GP will be held 
the middle of September, but tickets were sold out. If you have tickets, see you again in September. <laughs> if you know, see you next year. And this year, my, I'm cha challenging to talk uh, first uh, at PyCon around the world. And this Malaysia is my place of my PyCon tour. But I'm a first time attending this PyCon Malaysia. I'm very happy to be here. And uh, well, then let's talk about the main topic. Main topic. background and motivation. Uh, uh, I held a PyCon JP event several years in the past. As you can imagine, lots of tasks to held a conference, the keynote, uh, to talk, talk member attendees, and the ticket selling, and the venue, and the facility management, and the food, and the coffee, and spirits, and beer. Beer is important. <laughs> and, uh, in, in Japan, uh, we have uh, 40 of staff every year, and half is new staff and half is the old staff. The newcomers ask similar things to me, and I send similar messages to newcomers. Where is the, this document? Where is the, the information? And I ask same things, same thing, same thing. But programmer is lazy. Good programmer is lazy. I'm a good programmer, I think. <laughs> and I don't know, uh, I don't like uh, the root work. You too? You too? Okay. Okay, let's create the secretary. My secretary, I want someone to do my bozo time, some tasks instead of me, like a secretary. Let's make it because we are programmer. The goal of this talk is uh, how to create the bot with Python. And why, why Slack bot? My secret is a chat bot on Slack. Uh, is there someone using Slack? Uh, half or more? Mm. Okay. Uh, Slack is one of the chat system, and uh, I'm launching the Slack application at any time on uh, PC and smartphone. So it's easy to access Slack. I want to do everything in Slack system. Let's make chatbot on Slack. Uh, first, I will explain a simple integration with incoming webhook, incoming webhook system. This is system overview. I write the, the oh, oh, oh. Python program and uh, send the message with HTTP and send to the webhook, send the message on the Slack, Slack channel. How to generate webhook URL? Uh, uh, first step, I make the webhook URL. One, create a Slack application, and two, oh, 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 oh. Yes. my slides uh, will share. And uh, you can check the, this information and this link, okay? Uh, first, create a Slack bot, and second, enable incoming webhooks on, the, on this application. So, uh, Step three, create an incoming webhook. Then you can get webhook your like this hooks, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can get uh, the uh, webhook URL. Okay, we use the send a simple message with call. Uh, when we send, uh, this is a date, send the data and the webhook then send to webhook URL. 
then the, the bot, my bot displays uh, my send, sending message on Slack. Okay? And uh, we are Pythonistas. Next, we use urlrib.request module for webhook. Uh, set URL and create a data and the data to JSON, JSONite and send a request, not a request, URL, data, and a method post. Then you can get this message. Easy. Yeah, okay. If you use, if you write a request package, you can, you can use request. Request is more simple. Set the URL and the data, write a dictionary, and send the request dot post URL and JSON equal data. It's full of a simple sending message. You can get message from uh, on the Slack chat. And uh, if you need more complex message, we can send a complex message like this message attachment format. If you uh, this field and data and pretext and the name link and the text, then send the message with uh, bold style and uh, this is field. Uh, I send and uh, thank you for coming to my talk. Please give me feedback about this talk and uh, field love help be a label and I from Japan. That's complex message you can create uh, with the attachment, information attachment. And uh, if you need more complex message, block it is a new UI framework on Slack. And the block, block it builder is interactive prototype builder. This is the sample image of the block it UI builder. You can choose the of component and uh, arrangement on this screen. And you can get first the uh, no, no, formatted message. Okay, uh, summary of incoming webhook. Uh, one, it's easy to send a message from program. You can use webhook. And we can create complex message with attachments. But incoming webhook is one way only. A program to webhook tend to suck about one way. And I want to talk with Bob, my secretary. I will explain how to make interactive chatbot. Uh, this is system overview. Uh, I send hello on the Slack message. Hi. Hi. And the bot use and the Slack bot get high message and bot user respond. Hi, I'm Slack bot. Then get I I interact Slack bot. Okay, I describe how to create a, how to create interactive bot. At first, we create bot user on Slack. And first, create a Slack app. Second, two, two uh, neighbor bots, and three uh, other bot user. The four then install application to your workspace. Then authorize the, uh, and then authorize. Then I get, uh, we get uh, bot user auth token, auth access token. This is important information. And the install bot user to Slack channel, several channel. Then, uh, I make the Slack bot with the Slack bot package for Python. Uh, okay, uh, Slack bot is one of the chatbot framework for Python. I I write that. Uh, you can use uh, you can install the pip install Slack bot. Next, we, I create the simplest Slack bot. Only four files. I install the Slackbot library package. Then, uh, first, I create Slackbot under 
and the uh, settings.pi file for settings is a token, one is a token, and the next plugin is package name. Uh, this is, uh, the sample is my local dot plugin. And second file is a one dot pi file. This is main program for Slack bot. This is so simple. Third file is a in underscore int dot py. Uh, this is only package. M for, for package, MPT file is okay. And last is the sample.py is the plugin. plugin. This is listen to high message, then send hi, I'm Slack bot. This is file structure. Then I run the, the bot. It's uh, the Python run.py and I sent hi message. Then we ask uh, my bot send hi I am Slack bot message. That is simple interaction. Um, I guess you understood the basic way to make Slack bot. So we will extend the simple bot. Okay. Extend. First uh, listen to and respond to decorator. Slackbot provides two, de two important decorator listen to and respond to. Listen to is a simple messaging. And uh, respond to only mention. Mention means, uh, hey, hey, Slackbot. And, uh, this is sample. And uh, first is uh, listen to decorator. Then uh, I send hi and uh, respond to hi and Slackbot. Next, the ping is the only response to is a I mention and the react. But ping message is uh, the not, uh, not understand uh, my bot. And the emoji reaction. Slack bot, sl uh, not, not Slack bot. Slack is emoji reaction is important thing, I think. And uh, if you use message of react, then the bot can reaction, emoji reaction. I'm looking for current pool craft beer bar and put beer. And the extract parameter or message. Uh, I want to uh, parameter, I want to send to parameter to my bot. Then the uh, track bot handles the parameters with the regular expression. This is sample code. And I send choice, the uh, like a pizza, beer, sushi, and then the, the one parameter uh, is uh, pizza, beer, sushi, text. This is a parameter. Okay, this is sample. I send a choice, pizza, beer, sushi, ramen, and uh, my bot was the one of choice, ramen, ah, sushi. Second is choice, choose beer. I, I interact more, more interactive to Slack bot. Okay. And settings. Settings is important thing. One, uh, is alias, is a, if alias setting, there are, is a prefix, prefix Instead of mention, uh, normal uh, no, normally at my bot, as uh, converted to data pin, or uh, uh, this is more command like. And uh, uh, default reply is uh, error message. And if I send, uh, if I set this uh, settings, I send data pin and uh, bot reply the phone. Okay, and uh, Slack bot is attachment support. You can use the complex message. Okay, and uh, oh, uh, summary of Slack bot. Uh, we can communicate with Slack bot. I send a message and Slack bot respond. And Slack bot can handle arguments in message. I send a uh, choice. Uh, ramen sushi and uh, Slackbot accept the message. 
And circuit can send message wireless format means the which attachment or block or block kit builder. And I think that you understand Swagbot can do various things. Okay. Next, uh, I will show some case studies combining Python libraries and APIs for my boring stuff. First, calculate a function using Simpy. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. Uh, motivation. I will heavy to call a calculator application on my phone. Uh, menus and scroll and it seems useful if struck as a calculator. Okay, I use the Simpy. Simpy is a Python library for symbolic mathematics. You can use and uh, you can install people install Simpy. And this is a my most plugin calc.py code. Uh, this is a formula like pattern and number and plus and minus and then the simplify the uh, calculate it and get result and send the message. This is the result. If I send I one plus one, uh, my bot response two. Uh, the, if we ate the dinner. Uh, 9,500 yen with three people each day. Now, I, I use for this situation. Okay, next, next case study is a plus plus function using PUE or MAPA. Or MAPA, uh, this motivation is uh, in PyCon JP. Uh, I want to make a culture that appreciates each other stuff. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your information. Then uh, I use the or I want to or mapper. Or mapper is the object operation mapper and a, a program connect to database. Uh, I use PW. PW is a simple one. And this is model model class. Uh, name and the plus plus counter. And I make a uh, plus plus command. If name plus plus accept, then create the counter and the increments and the response. This is example. I sent Python my way here plus plus and the thank you uh, count, counting, counting. Uh, okay, uh, next case study, display Jira issue and SAS issue. Do you know Jira? Jira is the issue management. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, Jira is one of the issue management like uh, GitHub issues or uh, Asana or uh, WebMine. Okay, motivation. Uh, Python JP uses uh, Jira for issue management. The Jira is very useful, and that Jira web is very heavy, very, very heavy. I want to check issue details with that Jira website. I send, if I send get issue, then track bot access, uh, access to Jira with Jira West API and send the issue information. And I use is uh, Python Jira. Python Jira is a Python library to work with Jira API. It's useful. And authentication, uh, login my user information, is user and password, and get issue object. Uh, hold on. Ah, Jira.issue and issue ID, then I get the Jira issue object and get in some information and create the attachment if attachment dictionary for Slack and send. That is, this is the result. I send the issue ID, then put based on the issue information, title and the link and the assignee and the status. Uh, this is open. 
in, in Japanese character. Okay, third issue. Uh, Zera provides the searching with JQL. JQL is a Zera query language, like uh, keywords and pro projects, uh, like, like this. And I send, when I send the Zera PyCon APAC, Zera response the, uh, 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 the results of most recent five issue, and I check that. Okay. Uh, next next case study is uh, create multiple issues for a template. Uh, motivation. In PyCamp, PyCamp is a Python bootcamp in Japan. PyCamp event uh, need uh, 20 over issue are required for each event, for each uh, we held uh, the Python bootcamp uh, well, every month. Every month. And every month create 20 same issue. And it's very painful to me to copy issue, copy issue, uh, open zero web, copy issue, paste, copy issue, paste. And zero web is very heavy, you know. Okay? System overview. I send create issue command. Track box get issue information template information from, from Google spreadsheet. Then track box creates 20 over issue with the REST API. Create, 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 create. But first, we need Google authorization in but Google authorization is very complex. First, uh, create Google platform project and enable API. This, uh, in this case, Google Sync API enabled. And download credential.json file. Next, install Google Client Library for authorization. And some step, download the quickstart.py file of, from GitHub. First, while quickstart.py and uh, select uh, your Google account in web browser and click accept button. Then authorize your your account your account. Get get at last we get token.pick file. This is important file. Uh, and this is a sample of the spreadsheet data get data script and Create credential from pickle dot, uh, token dot pickle and create a service for API. Then uh, the get data from spreadsheet via spreadsheet API. And create zero issue with uh, zero zero API. Um, the issue dictionary information. Then create zero create issue and fail. Then create. This is a sample of a Python bootcamp template command. I send, I send the PyCamp create place target date and the start name. Then the, but the bot creates 20 over issues and responds to the parent issue. This is a sample of template. Template is uh, uh, category and uh, assignee and due date. And due date means the delta from the target date. And summary, type summary and distribution. This is the result of the uh, parent issue and uh, so many issues weak from parent issue. This is source code for PyCamp command. Uh, the command created, I never have to copy issue again. Never. I'm so happy. <laughs> Worst case study, account management of G Suite. Uh, motivation, PyCon JP use a PyCon.jp domain with, with G Suite. And uh, I only, only use Google Admin Web occasionally. Uh, I forgot to use the admin website. 
uh, I create the admin command the admin and start what ad, uh, access to G Suite with the admin API. Okay, we use the admin API. Uh, update Google authorization. Uh, first, update your Google Cloud platform, platform project for your uh, API. Add the G Suite admin API and we download credentials to JSON and we run quick start of the PY for authorization. Then uh, get your token.pickle file for G Suite and Google Space Suite API. This is sample code of get user list. Uh, create the service for the directory API and get the use uh, service of users of list uh, execute. Then we get the uh, all user list on your G Suite. Yeah, your domain, user, your domain. And this is insert the user. Create the user dictionary and uh, then create the user and update the user and the delete the user. Uh, this is uh, my created G admin command list for user management and uh, alias mail alias management and group management and group member management. <laughs> uh, this is sample of the I sent G admin user list, then respond to the all user list. And let's uh, get group list and group member list. And uh, not only get the list, uh, I create via G admin command with member and areas and, uh, uh, and uh, group and group member. I can completely forget Google admin website. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, oh. Uh, ah, this is source code for of the admin command on our our bot. Okay. Uh, this is something I talk about. Uh, well, no, the simple bot with incoming webhook and interactive bot with Slack bot and how to exchange Slack bot with Python libraries and APIs. Okay, you can make your Slack bot. Let's create your own Slack bot tomorrow or day after tomorrow. <laughs> and let's connect with library, several useful libraries and APIs. And then uh, the automate your boring stuff with Slack bot. Then you will have more free time. So you can do other creative things to your new your time. Thank you. Okay, uh, your question is uh, where the track bot around the computer? Yeah. Uh, the PyCon JP bot run on the our web server, PyCon JP is uh, hold uh, the like uh, EC2 or a Heroc. And if you don't have the uh, program, uh, the developing uh, the developing thing you can run the Slack bot on your laptop. Okay. Next one. Uh, ah, okay. If you if you want to port for free, you can use AWS Lambda. Ah. Uh, AWS Lambda also you can do. Ah, uh, Lambda is good for uh, Slack bot, but I think the Slack bot framework does not support Lambda. And uh, uh, yeah. Okay, yes. All right, thank you very much uh, for uh, taking some. Takanori, takanori. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, well, we are going to be still around.
here, so there's I think questions, so I think you can like 